Oh my gosh. You know, Konami just sucks so bad. They did stuff like Metal Gear Survive. They turned a lot of their games into pachinko machines so they could just literally gamble their most famous franchises. Recently, we got the Metal Gear Solid HD collection that turned out to be pretty much a pretty lazy cash grab that didn't even have steady frame rates or PC keyboard support. Uh, Konami just keeps screwing things up. And that's part of the reason that fans are kind of terrified about the Silent Hill 2 remake and probably not in the way they want. But last night, we got two big leaks about the Silent Hill 2 remake that need to be discussed. A possible release date and what seems to be a playable Pyramid Head chapter, which just sounds awful. Let's get into it. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So we're not gonna stall, let's start things off. First up, PC Benchmark states that Silent Hill 2 is coming out on the 21st of March, 2024. Now, this could just be a coincidence, this could just be a random digit, but that's a very, very specific time to be listed. So. I do think this is actually correct. There have been a bunch of leaks and stuff pointing to the fact that Silent Hill 2 is actually pretty deep into development, probably in the polishing final phases. It's weird to hear that because we haven't seen it after that initial reveal a year ago. We still haven't seen gameplay. We still haven't seen even really concept art. We just straight up saw the initial teaser trailer and nothing else. Now, as excited as I am about this, because Silent Hill 2 is one of my very favorite games of all time, well, much like I'm sure many of you share that sentiment, the big sticking point is Bloober Team. This is a much smaller studio. In general, they have not done any big, successful AAA releases. They've done a bunch of, like, AA horror games. Now, the reason I do personally believe this release date is not only is it just hyper-specific and this is a good release window because it'll dodge a lot of those big January and early February releases, but... I do think that when it comes to remakes, they're a lot easier to do. You already have the blueprints, you already have the layout, you just knock it out. But along with these pre-order details, we actually have a store listing for it. This actually popped up here on bestbuy.com. It's absolutely real. You can click it for yourself. Uh, it's right here. Uh, Silent Hill 2 for PlayStation 5. Now, this is Canadian money, so of course it's a teeny tiny bit uh, off of... It's going to be a standard $70 release here, but a lot of people have been laser focusing on the product description. Take on the role of James Sunderland as he makes his way through the horrifying town of Silent Hill as he's hunted by terrifying creatures, all while trying to uncover the truth of a dark mystery. Now, while that may be an accurate description, it's a bit funny to think of this as uh, making it sound like your typical horror game when the game is so dang psychological, but here it says, enjoy the experience of playing through a seminal horror game all with modern graphics exclusively on the PlayStation 5. Fan favorite character Pyramid Head makes a return along with a special origin story for fans to play through. Now, understandably, Silent Hill fans are not pleased about this. Uh, I mean, there's two ways to read this. It sounds like we're going to be playing Pyramid Head. Uh, a lot of uh, viral tweets being like, wow, this is incredible. The creator of Pyramid Head has straight up said, I wish I hadn't even made that character. <sighs> this is so ridiculous. Everybody is basically being like, why in the world would we ever want to play as Pyramid Head? The idea of a Pyramid Head origin story just seriously makes no sense. Now, if you're wondering why this would get pushback, in case you've never played Silent Hill or you're not part of the community, the original version of Silent Hill 2 already does a truly perfect explanation. They never come out and say it. They never straight up show it, but it just implies 
that Pyramid Head is a physical manifestation of James's guilt. He's done bad stuff. I'm not going to spoil it because now that it's a remake that's about to come out, I think the story is genuinely fantastic, but that's exactly why fans do not want to get sat down and directly explained what Pyramid Head is, where he's at, what his weaknesses are, or even if it is a human underneath that mask. The fun of Pyramid Head is that he is just an unstoppable monster. You can kill him again and again and again and he comes back. I mean, seriously, the reason we have freaking Pyramid Head in all these other games that aren't canon in my opinion, I still think the only real Pyramid Head is in the original game, that's why he's popping up in movies and stuff, Pyramid Head is terrifying because we don't know about it. The first time you see Pyramid Head, it's through this little tiny gate, and I will never forget that because it's just so unnerving. What is it? If we actually get a Pyramid Head origin story, like a flashback of some guy who becomes Pyramid Head or some scene of James making Pyramid Head, this would completely ruin the experience. It would take what is a vague, horrifying psychological journey and make it into a schlock fest. But... Some people are actually speculating a different thing. I mean, a lot of people are just straight up saying pain. I'm actually fascinated by the fact that so many people are just saying this sounds freaking terrible. I do love this comment right here. Fan favorite character, Pyramid Head. Jesus Christ, Konami really thinks it's Silent Hill's Pikachu. Now, some people are pitching that this might actually just be a weird wording. Technically, in some editions of Silent Hill 2, there were this extra little chapter you could play as Maria. Uh, That could be this, but I I don't know. People sharing this around immediately assumes you means you'll be playing Pyramid Head, seemingly forgetting Maria's entire Born from a Wish sub-scenario in the OG. I'm as apprehensive about the remake as anybody but taking this opportunity to demonize it is just lame. Personally, I do think that the the reading of it makes it sound like we are playing as Pyramid Head. Right here, fan favorite character Pyramid Head makes a return alongside a special origin story fans can play through. That sounds like we're playing as Pyramid Head. Not that we're just seeing Pyramid Head, that we're going to be playing as Pyramid Head in the Bluebird Team game. The more we hear about the Silent Hill 2 remake, the more skeptical I am about it. Konami clearly does not care that much about the Silent Hill brand. The reason I say that is because currently they're doing the Silent Hill Ascension TV show interactive thing. It sucks. It actually keeps breaking. You like install this app on your phone that lets you vote who lives and who dies and who tells bad truths to other characters. The live streams keep crashing. People are super chatting in the comments to say stuff like Hideo Kojima's got a bunch of cummy in his tummy and then getting chat banned. Konami, Silent Hill is truly a franchise where less is more. The original Silent Hill was made by a group of people called Team Silent. They were the rejects of other major projects at Konami. It was a bunch of literal outcasts in a booth that was outside the main building of Konami who came together to make something spooky in isolation. And it worked. Silent Hill is a very unique brand of horror. And it really just emphasizes the idea of show, don't tell. Give us great visuals, cool combat, and some good scares that actually pay respect to the original game and not just another lazy cash grab. What do you guys think about this though? Are you excited for the Silent Hill 2 remake or are you as terrified as I am? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please keep dreaming. Oh my god. If they if they make Pyramid Head playable and he talks, I'm I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna actually lose it. 
Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.